Welcome to This Week in Crowder College, an in-depth look into how Crowder College students, faculty, and staff are working together so students soar to new heights, communities are impacted, and lives are changed. This Week in Crowder College is sponsored by the Law Offices of Wood and Peterson in Neo Show, specializing in workers' compensation, personal injury, social security disability, and more. Learn more online at neoshowattorney.com. Now here's this week's edition of This Week in Crowder College. It's a brand new week of This Week in Crowder College right here on 91.7 FM. Adam Winkler here with you, joined by our good friend Cindy Brown out there at Crowder College. And Cindy, thanks for being with us. Oh, glad to be here. Well, you guys are counting down the days for the first day of classes, but enrollment is still open and available for people if they want to jump on board with Crowder in the fall of 2023. Yes, classes start August 21st, but you actually have through that first Friday that week to continue to enroll. Now, I wouldn't recommend that. I'd recommend the sooner the better so you get the choice of classes you want, everything. But we will we will begin fall classes on the 21st, uh, running through December and then up until graduation. We also have classes, too, that start like second eight weeks or we have programs that run classes every four weeks. So there's a lot of opportunity to get in. It just depends on what you want to do. Well, when people hear the word enrollment, sometimes they get scared. But uh, tell me about the process. I know you guys are there to help them uh, through every step of the way. Yeah, you know, that's one of the good things. And one thing we pride ourselves on is is making sure that we help the student from start to finish. So you can apply online. If you don't feel comfortable applying online, we actually have a group here called the Educational Opportunity Center. And that's a federally grant-funded program. But they will help people apply to not only Crowder, but any college. They'll help you with your FAFSA, because FAFSA is your free financial aid stuff you have to complete, which can seem overwhelming at times. But we have people who will help with that as well. If you don't feel comfortable doing it or just want to make sure you've got somebody there in case you have a question, you can schedule an appointment with them also. Well, for for incoming students and uh, those who have might have been away from from college for a while, but want to jump back in and, and and try and do something different with their life, just tell them how Crowder is just is so welcoming to new students. It's really a we've always talked about the Crowder family, the family atmosphere, but it's a place where you're going to start to feel at home right away. Yes, and you know one of the things that I found most to take pride in was that the first day of school, we have so many people out standing in the hallway, standing at doorways, entries. So it's like when you leave the parking, when you come in from the parking lot or walk across from the dorm, there's somebody here who can help give you directions to find a class, help you navigate what you need to get done the first week of school. There are just it's fun to see that. We also kind of extend that into the weekend before when we have move in. We'll have volunteers here helping parents and grandparents and students moving into the dorm, help carry their stuff in, find their dorm, make sure they have everything they need. We do a new student orientation the Friday and Saturday before um, classes start here on the Neosho campus, as well as different days at our other locations. And I think those are huge because you know, for some, they may have driven several hours and um, we're dropping our maybe our oldest child off and this is a new experience. And what better thing than to be greeted by a smiling face than somebody who's willing to show you around? I think it makes you feel a little more comfortable leaving them when you leave. Well, Cindy Brown is with us here today on This Week in Crowder College. We're talking about enrollment for a 2023 fall semester, and it is uh, it is almost here as uh, the first day of classes is August 21st. And Cindy, maybe give our listeners a, a peek behind the curtain and these final three weeks before classes start. What's going on behind the scenes there at Crowder to make sure everything is ready to go? Let's see. Let's start with physical plants. They are working to get classrooms all prepared. Our IT, our information technology people, are working to make sure that all the computers and monitors and everything in classrooms are up and running so that when the instructors come back, everything will be there. Our bookstores getting tons of shipments of books coming in, starting to sell books for classes. They'll be buying books back this week from summer school students, so we'll see lots of students coming in. We'll see some roaming the hallways with their schedule. Just want to make sure I know where I'm going that first day and first time. Our Student Success Center, as well as every other advising area, will be have back-to-back appointments working with students to get their classes scheduled, and that's probably one of the biggest things. So, And our admissions office, we're still taking lots of applications, which we'd love to see. So um, that, and we'll have training for new employees coming on board, especially new faculty 
just making sure they know what to expect with their classes and know how to navigate all the different software programs we have. So there is, there is to say there's not a lot going on would be crazy. <laughs> you know, cleaning the dorms, getting them all ready, uh, fresh paint going up in places, um, just uh, every department, this is crunch time. Well, we think about uh, the, the main campus in Neosho, but then you, you branch out. You have McDonald County and Webb City and Cassville and, and Nevada. And do all those uh, campuses start on the 21st as well? Yes. And uh, don't forget Joplin, Joplin too. We've yes, got the yes. Training and Technology Center there. Yes. Everybody starts on that Monday. Now, one thing we have to remind people sometimes, you know, especially those coming right out of high school, is you may not have to be on campus every day. Mm-hmm. Be sure you look at your schedule. Do I attend classes on Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, maybe on Friday? Do I go just Tuesday, Thursdays? Do I, you know, that's one of the nice things about being in college is I may not have to be on campus every day. So that's important. Or they may have some online classes, which they'll have some deadlines that they'll want to make sure that they're, they're checking into. As you look at uh, students enrolling and you guys are taking applications in and people are getting ready for classes, do you, do you see a, a, an uptick in maybe one, uh, a certain category that people are really focusing in on, whether it be a, a, a tech program or whether whether it be nursing? Do you see an increase uh, anywhere in those areas? You know, I was talking to our nursing department earlier this week, and they mentioned that they have more applications than they've had in, in the last few years um, for the program. So that's a good thing. We've seen a lot of applications for our paramedic, paramedical sciences programs. And then, of course, we have those new programs well, I'll say new, five years now this fall that we've been in Joplin with our um, career training programs like welding, advanced manufacturing, computer network and support. So those are quick turnaround, put me to work, you know, get some training, put me to work type training programs, which we're seeing a lot of success in. So I think, you know, it's a combination, but we're still getting a lot of high school Maybe they know exactly what they want to do and they've already been taking dual credit and working towards that. Or maybe they're not sure and they're taking advantage of the Missouri A-plus scholarship program to get their first two years of tuition and fees paid by the state of Missouri. Well, we know the next three weeks are not going to be a marathon for you. They're going to be a sprint and you'll be going uh, full speed the entire time. I know you have a lot, a lot of work to do. We just appreciate your time on This Week in Crowder College. Thank you for having us. We'll look forward to the start of the fall semester. Thank you for listening to This Week in Crowder College. This Week in Crowder College is sponsored by the law offices of Wood and Peterson in Neo Show. You can listen to this broadcast again by going online to kneo.org or to crowder.edu. Tune in once again next week for another edition of This Week in Crowder College on KNEO 91.7 FM.